that the drug and the biotech stocks have come back into favor of the Wall Street Fashion Show, what do we do with the arms dealers of the pharmaceutical industry that help them develop new drugs? Take Viva Systems, a cloud-based software company that gets its start by helping to, uh, to make pharmaceutical sales reps more efficient. But now is a platform that makes the whole life science industry more efficient, while also ensuring that its clients comply with regulations. Now, Viva's been red hot. The stock is up more than 90% in the past year, including nearly 10% gain since the uh, beginning of 2017. And it could have even more room to run. Just last night, the company reported a strong quarter, posting a five cent earnings beat off of a 17 cent basis. That's not that bad, huh? Higher than expected revenue, up 31% year over year. And initially, the stock got dinged because uh, Viva's full year guidance came in a little bit light, but you know, shares ultimately turned around, closing up more than a buck. I think management was just being conservative with its forecast. It is a conservative group of guys, but don't take it from me. Let's check in with Peter Grasser. He's the founder and CEO of Viva Systems, to learn more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Grasser, welcome back. Back to Mad Money. Uh, thanks, Jim. Glad to be here. All right, Peter, last time I saw you, we were talking about Vault, and Vault was a very, you had a, a nice suite of products, but now I think you've made the suite gigantically. So why don't you tell our viewers uh, what sets Vault apart from other cloud-based content management systems and why it's unique also for the life science sector? Uh, Vault, Vault really is going well for us, Jim. As you remember, we went public about three years ago, and, and Vault was a $15 million business. Now it's at a $220 million run rate. And actually, last quarter, we announced we, assigned, we uh, signed our two biggest Vault deals ever. So it's really taken off. But if you want to unpack that, why is it taking off? It's a unique platform uh, that we need for our life sciences customers. It handles content like documents, videos, et cetera, but also data, data points about attributes of documents. It handles that all together, and it's actually the only kind of platform that does that. So we use that to build these robust applications for life sciences. I, I think it's important to tell people, because I'm a big believer in revenue growth, where your company stacks up against Salesforce, particularly because at one time you worked for Salesforce. Oh, yes, I did work for Salesforce and IBM before that. But so we, we've done well since our, our IPO. You know, we've actually we've we've doubled more than doubled our revenue and tripled our profit. And that's one of the hallmarks of Viva. We have this high growth and strong profit. And that's something you don't often see in, in cloud companies. And that has to do with just the way we are and the way we approach things. But more, more to the point where we're going, going forward, we're, we're building this multi-billion uh, dollar company. And this year, we actually crossed the half billion dollar revenue mark for the first time. So yes, smaller than Salesforce.com, but you know, they're our partner in this. We, we work together with Salesforce.com. We serve joint customers. We've got a really great 10-year partnership with Salesforce.com. On the conference call, you said, uh, we are at the start of a major transformation cycle in regulatory technology. Talk to me about that cycle and where Vault fits in. Yeah, Vault, the regulatory cycle, that's for our customers. They got to register these products for sales, medicines for sales all around the, the globe. It's a complex process. And we're just at the start of these companies refitting their technology. So we closed two of the top 20 companies in the quarter, our first two of the top 20 companies. We're looking for success with those companies and, you know, over time selling more to, uh, of those large companies and small companies. It's something we set out to do two years ago, Jim. We start, really started building this application, and uh, now we're, we're glad to see the customers adopting it. Couldn't be, couldn't be more thrilled with that. And, um, uh, like another one of our favorites, Workday, where uh, Enio Bushri uh, developed one line that was on human capital and then expanded to finance, you're thinking you're doing some, uh, some ideas outside life science investment, which I think could really carry the company further. Could you give us some details? I know it's early, but give us some details. Absolutely. This is based on our Vault platform. We have a couple of our Vault applications that we're going to bring outside of life sciences. This has to do with quality software, quality management. You know, managing work processes and procedures and who changed those procedures. So we can bring these to uh, uh, industries outside of life sciences, like chemical manufacturers, consumer packaged goods, and other, other highly regulated industries. We just started to do that um, last year with an application suite we called Vault Quality One. And we already signed uh, two initial projects with a couple Fortune 500 companies that happen to be uh, top 30 chemical manufacturers. And we're really excited about that because we can bring the benefits of the Vault platform to all different kinds of industries. 
Um, just in, in terms of current events, the president's been saying, look, he's going to streamline the FDA. I, that's a tough thing to do because the FDA wants to protect us, and at the same time, they want to be able to have new drugs. What's the scuttlebutt in the industry about whether there really could be deregulation in the FDA, and what would it mean for Viva? Well, I think they're streamlining going on all the time in the FDA. They're continuing to improve, and uh, the life sciences industry is improving because we're, we're starting to really meet some of these unmet needs in life sciences, you know, cure some illnesses that haven't been cured before, go after some or orphan diseases. So I think the streamlining is always going on. And I'm, I'm really happy to see the dialogue about that, the government and the industry working together to serve the patients better. All right, that's terrific. That's Peter, uh, Peter Gasser is the founder and CEO of Viva Systems, off a record quarter. Great to see you, sir. Thank you for coming on Mad Money. Thanks, Jim. Glad to be here. All right. This is another software as a service stock that has a great market and it's getting bigger. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.